Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back today to a super useful Minecraft Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition add-on review. Before we get into this video, I have a couple of shoutouts to give to you guys. If you are looking for a shoutout on my channel, all you need to do is hit that like button and leave a comment down below with what type of videos you like to make on your YouTube channel. Today's shout out for the first person is Trainer Pikachu 87 I loved your story, you light my day. I subscribed, I like making Minecraft videos. And Trainer Pikachu is super close to 650 subscribers, so make sure you go and check them out. Thank you for the support. Moving on to the next shout out. The next shout out in today's video is going to Branded Dragon YT. Roblox, MCP, and more. Love your videos, especially the mods and texture pack videos. Thank you very much. In the title of his name, he says he makes Roblox, MCP, and more. Check him out, guys. He's only got 22 subscribers. Let's see if we can get him to 50 subscribers after today's video. And last but not least, in today's video, the shout out goes to uh, White Pictures and Crafted Dragon TV. Uh, love all the videos. I don't play Pocket Edition but I do play PC, and I'm a supporter for Pocket Edition and console, so Command Blocks will be awesome in MCPE. Maybe we will see Command Blocks in MCCE, meaning Minecraft Console Edition. They currently have 222 subscribers, they make Minecraft PC content, and they enjoy Minecraft PC, so go and check them out if you do enjoy that. So getting into today's video, I'm showing you on Windows 10 Edition because it's a little bit easier to do. This add-on will prevent griefers to a certain standard. Of course, we do not have the ability to disable people looking in chests, etc. Hopefully that will be a feature in Minecraft Pocket Edition in the near future. But this add-on, it's mainly called, it says here, no griefers for realms add-on. However, this will also work in your single player world. I'm going to be showing you this add-on in single player and also in my realm, show you exactly how it works. It's super useful. It saves you... So much griefing, I'm honest with you guys there. So go to play. If I go to create a brand new world, generate brand uh, random. Let's just put this in creative, enable cheats, enable always day. And it's a behaviors pack and it's called No Griefers for Realms. It was created by Stark TMA underscore YT. Thank you for creating this. It's super incredible. Let's enable this. Let's go to play and let me teach you everything you need to know. So this disables. With the boss cannot be spawned. I know it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. TNT, including TNT minecarts, cannot be spawned. Creepers do not explode. Fireballs no longer cause fire. Wither skulls no longer explosive. So let's start off with the very basics and let me grab myself some TNT. So both the TNT block and both the minecart with TNT. Let's find ourselves a flint and steel. And let me show you this. So of course, both of the, oh, we need ourselves some rails actually. And I actually didn't get the flint and steel, did I? I didn't, there we go, we did this time. Let's grab ourselves some rails. Doesn't really matter what rail. So as we all know, TNT is the most explosive block in Minecraft. Um, and it's a giant pain on any realm or any single player world. However, using this will simply disable it. The, the, the smoke goes up and nothing happens at all. It doesn't matter how many times people pl plant, uh, plant these down and try to grief your worlds, it does not happen. It just completely disappears, which is super useful. The same with this one being the minecart one. It doesn't do anything at all. Like, you can't even click on it. Like, it doesn't do anything whatsoever in creative or survival. So I really, really like that one. Uh, the creeper one is probably my favorite one. So if I go to creepers, and you guys are probably going to comment saying, how can you obtain gunpowder? Two ways you can gain uh, gunpowder. Actually, a couple of ways. Three ways. First one being you can find it in chests. Second way, you can find it from killing witches. Third way, which makes it a little bit more challenging, you can kill ghasts. All right, so there's still ways to get gunpowder. But when you spawn this forward slash game mode s it will come up to you but it just doesn't explode it just stays big and fat and does nothing at all it just it's just like a friendly creeper it, it doesn't do anything at all um so i thought that was pretty cool and you can i'm pretty sure you can i'm not sure if you can get any gunpowder from them at all i'm gonna try this i've not tried this you see um, they're just big and fat all the time and they just do not explode they don't do anything to you at all uh, they're still in the game they're kind of just classed as now a friendly mob in Minecraft. 
Um, nope, it, it, you still get a little bit of XP. So that's also been disabled. Um, fireballs, I believe they did say fireballs. Let's go to forward slash game mode C. Let's grab ourselves some fireballs. Um, this, I believe, still... Apparently, it causes no fire, but can still do damage. All right, then, well... That still kind of works. Maybe I've got an older version. I'm not entirely sure. Um, hopefully the download for you guys still works. But the most important one is this one. Forward slash summon. And then it's wither dot boss. And then I do squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. It will summon the actual uh, with the boss, but then it will instantly disappear. So this stops a bunch of griefing. These are the main grief issues on Minecraft Pocket Edition because we don't have admin abilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to save and quit. I'm also going to show you this active in my realm. So once this officially loads up, let's go to my realm. There's only one person on because it's kind of really early in the day. Um, it will it will pop up saying sinking packets or something like that. Now if I just quickly uh, toggle down for. Let's toggle the downfall. It's always raining in MCP worlds. Let's just quickly toggle that down. Hi, let's say hello to the only user online. There you go, Gian. Um, I'm just gonna go outside here and show you exactly what I've just showed you there. So if I summon a wither boss in the realm, this is my realm by the way. I'll be adding more and more of you guys as time goes by. This is stage three of my realm. So I'll do forward slash summon wither dot boss and then do squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. It summons the with the boss and then disappears. You can still gain a little bit of XP. It's not the greatest of XP, but that shows you that it's disabled even on my realm. Forward slash summon creeper dot 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 or line nine nine. I'm in survival. It just goes to explode, doesn't explode, nothing happens at all, and you can just go and kill them, which stops the massive griefing, the massive issues. That's forward slash give at P TNT five. Give myself five TNT blocks. These are also disabled as well. One, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So as you've just seen, it works for realms. It works for single player. It's an incredible add-on. I highly recommend checking it out. It prevents griefing as much as possible. I've had this realm up for a couple of days now. Hardly any issues at all. No griefing issues at all. Um, so yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this. Be sure to thumbs it up. If you're looking for a shout out, leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Take care, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.